everyone, Retro Girls UK are back for a brand new video and in this video I'm going to be going through the stuff that I've had for my birthday. It's not actually my birthday today, my birthday is tomorrow but me and Michelle are off to Leicester Comic Con which you'll be seeing on a separate video. Coming very very soon, we're going to, I'm going to get an autograph and a selfie with Craig Fairbrush which I'm so looking forward to. So I'm going to be out of the house from 7am. So, I had all of my presents today and I have been spoilt so much. I cannot wait to show you some of the cool stuff in this bag. But, before we get into the video, if you are brand new here on our channel and you love physical media and video games as much as we do, then why not hit that like button, consider subscribing, but most importantly, don't forget about that notification bell so don't anything in the future. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. by me i think we're joined by benji he doesn't feature in many videos but this is benji he's seven months eight yes. months kissy kissy oh he's so so too kind i think he wants to help me with the presents don't you benji but i've got two bags here i've got some of michelle's parents and the majority of them are from michelle now as uh, if you watch our channel you know that i am a huge Hannah barbera fan so, sealed, Michelle got me four DVD bumper pack. And in this, you got Dastardly and Muttley in the Flying Machine Volume 1, Wacky, Wacky Races Volume 1, Top Cat Volume 1, Hong Kong Fury Volume 1. This is such a cool set. I think I've already got some of these, but I just like this for the artwork, the box. I just think it's going to look so cool on the shelf next to the others. And then I've got. Hi Tanya, this is a biopic, I've been after this for ages, I've never seen this before, so I'm looking forward to watching that. I'm going to be super busy watching the majority of these, I've got Jennifer's Body, another one I've never watched, but I know that this is about a teacher. I've it's been... a region A this one. Is it? So this is a region A, we've got a multi-region free Blu-ray player, which plays region A's and all that oh my god it comes in handy because half of the stuff in the UK that you can't get you have, you have to buy them in region A it's a lifesaver horror movie this is actually Stan Housing the spoof movie Stan Housing I have not watched this for years to be honest I didn't even know that you could get that on Blu-ray I got Luck with Tom Hardy Another one that I can't wait to watch. I'm just, to be honest, I'm just <coughs> dreading putting them on the shelf because I've filled the spaces up. So that's going to be quite fun. I've got The Chamber. This is a horror movie. This looks like another good one as well. I can't wait to watch this. A tense thriller. After Shara's mum and dad, I've got a couple of, um, oh, what do you call these? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I've got, these are so cool. I've got Scooby Doo. I'm thinking of putting these on the door, maybe. Or over there somewhere. Central Park, of course, Friends. Big Friends fan. And Scream. Huge Scream fan. So these are so awesome. I can't wait until these go up. Thank you, Michelle. I got. Two pairs of Scooby Doo socks, which I'm going to be wearing a pair of these tomorrow when I go to Comic Con. I've got, it's not Michelle's parents as well. A new release, True Lies on 4K. Michelle tried her hardest to persuade me not to go to HV to buy this. I told you it was a waste of money. Yeah, she did. Because she knew that her parents bought me that all along, so that was a lovely surprise. Because as soon as I knew that that was coming out on 4K, I wanted it straight away. Because it is one of my favourite James Cameron movies. I've got 
another Hanna Barbera. This is the Perils of Penelope Pit Stop, the complete series. Region one. Oh, is it region one? Yeah, did you not know? No. In port, you could say it says from Mexico on the back of the bottom, somewhere. Oh yeah. Oh, I should have guessed because there's no age rating. Yeah, I just got that. Second bag. Oh my god, I got this from Michelle's parents. Look at that for a purse. Is that not cool or what? A friend's purse. I've already put all my goodies in there. Me, 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 my names, my cards. So it was, it's full already. So I'm so happy I got that. It's so cool. From Michelle, I got license to wed. I've actually watched this. I didn't even know you could get this on Blu ray. Very funny movie, Robin Williams. I got 10 things I hate about you. Another one that I didn't even know that you could get on Blu-ray. I think Michelle knows me more than I know myself. I've got like a whole bag just full of Blu-rays. Soul Men with Sammy L. Jackson and Bernie Mac. Another one that I'm looking forward to. That looks a the really good movie. If anyone's wondering what the noise is, the dogs are playing in the background. Yeah. How many dogs in the room? Four? Three. Three, Three dogs. Get on up, a biopic about James Brown. I've been after this movie for age. I've never watched it, but I love my biopic movies. I got Rat Race. This I know for a fact it's region one in it. I can't remember. I think I'm it's sure, region one or region three. One or the other. I'm sure this is region one because I've been after this one for ages. I even put this on my watch list on Amazon, which I'm assuming that's where Michelle got no. it from because. I've got the, the, oh, is it rare waves? No, she calls it rare waves. Parenthood. Stop. This looks like a really good movie. It's giving me like um, cheaper by the dozen vibes. Parenthood. Yeah. Liability with uh, Jack O'Connell and what's his what's his name? Um, Tim Roth. I got. Father and Son. I can't wait to watch this one. This one looks interesting. I think it's a four-part series or two-part that they put on one DVD all together. Yeah, Obviously. so if you've ever heard or watched Father and Son, comment down below. Or if you've heard of any of these, comment down below. I got... Now this is going to be a funny one to pronounce. So this is Bruce Willis in... Ma Mara... Mara Ruders? Mara Ruders. <laughs> you say it? I'm a, I still can't say it. Marauders. There you go. Oh, this has got Batista as well. I've just seen him. Yeah. So this one looks like a good action movie. I've never even heard of this. I'm just trying to put them all away. I've filled all the spaces up. I've got a network Blu ray called Freak Show. Now, comment down below. Have you ever seen a network Blu ray in a pink case before? Because I haven't. So that is a first. I love that pink case. I love how most of the network Blu-rays come in small um, cases. I got Kill the King. Another one that I've never heard of, but it looks good. As soon as I saw the title, I actually thought it was an Alice Presley movie, to be honest. But it's not. It's like a. Is it like an action movie? I think like a violent movie. The more violent, the better. <laughs> Why is Millie licking you to death? Yeah. Got New Town Killers. Is it Matt Vista? Uh, I've no idea who. The one who beats up Little Mo. Oh, uh, Trevor. Yeah. He's on the front cover. Is he? You sure? That don't look Let like him. Look. That don't look like him. Yeah, look. Uh, no, it might be on the other cover. He's, he's definitely in this. Possibility. Well, I got that wrong. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. Little Man. I have been after this movie for so long. I keep pulling it and watching it on eBay, then I don't go to buy it. And it's just such an underrated movie. Even Michelle likes this movie. I got Michelle into this movie. Region again. And it's just so good. So funny. Little Man on Blue Bay. And I finally got Little Man. So. So happy about that. I've got a friend there. This looks like a really good action movie. It's got that geezer in it from Peaky Blinders, Joe Cole. I've actually got 
quite a few of his movies on Running Out of Space. I've got Stomp the Yard Homecoming. I've already got number one. I watched that not long ago when I was going through my Blu-rays. I'm actually currently on W. So I had number one, it was really good. So check out the CX Purge if you want to see what we're getting rid of and what we're keeping. Exactly, like she said. So I've got number one, it was really good. And then I think I found out that there was a number two. And then Michelle found out that you could get a Blu-ray, but I didn't know that she was going to get it me for my birthday. So now I've got number two. So this was actually sealed as well, but Michelle unsealed it because the do the disc. The disc was loose but I'm so happy now that I can watch number two because the first one was really good highly recommend uh, Stump the Yard I've got Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close Tom Hanks Tom Hanks is one of my favourite all time actors I think I bought this on DVD did I buy this on DVD from Times Wood in the end or did I just wait you waited yeah I waited I did realise that Michelle was going to buy me this on Blu-ray so she was probably secretly hoping that I weren't going to pick that one up. And I've got... So this one is actually called Think Like a Man. <laughs> is that what you're laughing? Yeah. I think I've watched this. I can't remember. I mean, the cover and the cast look familiar to me, but I don't know if I've actually watched this. But this looks right up my street. It looks like a comedy. I don't even know why I'm trying to read the back. But it looks like a comedy and I can't wait to watch it. I recognise some of the cast as well, like Kevin Hart. And then I've got Think Like a Man 2. So I didn't even know there was a second one. Which has a similar cast as well. This looks like a really good comedy movie. So I have, literally. I have to start stacking them in. I've got, speaking of Craig Fairbrass, I've got Aven Avengement. <laughs> I love his movies. He's probably one of my favourite all-time British actors. It's a Dazzler release. Is it? Oh, yeah, I just noticed. So when I go to meet him tomorrow and I get my selfie and my autograph, I'm going to be taking my Rise of the Foot Soldier Steelbook with me. I'm going to get him to sign that. So I'm looking forward to that. So Michelle probably knows that I am after his movies. And then I've got The Family... Which, for some reason, I thought I had this, but it's not on the list or the shelf or anything. So Michelle knows me better than I know myself because I've never picked this up before because I just assumed that I had this. And this is about a mafia boss. I've never watched it, but I have been waiting to watch this for ages. But for some reason, I haven't. I thought I had it, but clearly I don't. So I'm so happy about that. And then... Scary movie soundtrack. I love my soundtracks. And I love this movie. The disc isn't in there because we've just been listening to it on the CD player. And I actually had this when I was a child back in the day, or well, a teenager. And I completely forgot that you could get scary movie soundtrack. So I am so happy with everything that I got for birthday. I'll be well you spoiled. Money as well, people. Yeah, I had money. Uh, my mum treated me to a meal and also while I'm here I shall show these they're on the community well they're on the community place, but I'll show them anyway since they're next to me we had two movies come from Amazon uh, these weren't birthday presents they weren't birthday presents was they? Yeah. no they weren't birthday presents so but Michelle did buy them for me so I got the employer which I've never heard of but it does look and sound good and I've got Monster. This is actually based on a true story. I've watched this movie so many times. It is really seriously good. If you've never watched Monster, I highly recommend that you go and check it out because it is really good. But I wouldn't recommend watching it with your parents, I will say that. But it is a good movie. So that is everything that I got. Like the pickups and the birthday presents. I've been well spoiled, so I'm looking forward to Comic Con tomorrow. If you want to see what she spent her money on, what from my brother and his fiance, mm -hmm. um, I'm my aunts and uncles, 
uh, check out the Comic Con video which will be going live a few days after this. So I do check it out and always check out the CX Purge as in the off chance Lisa doesn't like any of these, you'll see them on the Purge videos coming up on the channel. I always check out our community posts because Lisa only posts of pictures that she had early birthday presents and always scan the QR codes when they come up ever on the screen and take social medias. Yeah, but saying that though, if I say if I watched the whole stack and there was like one or two that I didn't like, I don't think I'd get rid of them. Because they were presents, so I'd feel bad. Like, comment down below, do you feel bad if you don't like something that someone gave you? Or do you pretend that you like it? So I don't think I'd get rid of them. And anyway, you know me better than I know myself, so I reckon I want to like every single one of them. They was all on your wish list, Monson. Was they? <laughs> well, there you go then. These socks, when they're so up? cool. Shall I open up our camera? Well, then. Yeah. I'm going to be wearing a pair of these tomorrow. Oh, look at that. How cool are they? I know it's only a pair of socks, but come on, man. It's Scooby Doo. So, and I've got another pair as well. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment and share. Don't forget to join us on all our social media accounts. All the links are down below. So, stay safe and keep hunting. Thank <laughs> you.